One of the most important things when investing is to understand how much your money will be worth in the future. And of course, no one can guarantee that. And whatever we discuss in this video is not investment advice and it's not a firm prediction. All it is is me sharing my model on that I invest and trade on for Tesla and see what the numbers tell us for how much $1,000 worth of Tesla stocks will be worth in 2028. Now, in order to do so, we are going to look at the model. I'm going to go through some assumptions. We are going to do the math and you will see what that number is. And it probably will blow your mind. So let's take a look and see how much worth 1000 Tesla stocks will be very likely under this model in 2028. So we will start by looking at the revenue projections that I have here in the model that is based on my uh, demand model and sales model. I will not go through all the details, but I'm basically based on my knowledge of the market and my knowledge of Tesla's technological progress for Optimus, for Robotaxi. We have here the sales projections for Optimus. For example, in 2026, I'm assuming around 25,000 Optimus robots. You might think that's too many. You might think that's too little. We know they have 70,000 robot capacity, manufacturing lines and supply chains in China being prepared and also contracts being signed. This is all about understanding where the robot revolution is and how the AGI trajectory looks like. And 2026 will be the year where we are, will be very surprised. And from there, I'm assuming 100,000 Optimus robots in 2027 and 200,000 in 2028. I, at this point, believe these are very conservative estimates, not a base model. This is more a bear or a conservative model. On the robotaxi side, I'm assuming 40,000 robotaxis next year and many might disagree some are actually more bullish i think it's going to be a steep lift to get to forty thousand. maybe get delayed a little bit but i think it's possible we have these indications that elon said for q1 a q2 next year in april that cyber cap the car without a steering wheel the car without pedals the car that can only be a robo taxi is going to go into mass production and that will easily hit forty thousand units in that year next year and what are you going to do with cars without a steering wheel you have to deploy them as robo taxis so 40,000 200,000 in 2027 and 500,000 in 2028 deployed i think that's a reasonable assumption maybe slightly on the bullish side i think optimus slightly on the bearish side would taxi slightly on the bullish side and for the core business we have some basic assumptions i'm not going to bore you anymore with these business projection details. Here is how the numbers pan out if you apply a sophisticated financial model to it. And that is the basis for how the stock price might evolve. Hey, creating these videos is a lot of work. Please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Now let's get back to the video. And here, what you see here is the revenue projections. These are just revenues, by the way. Uh, just revenues projected and what you see here is how they will evolve over the next years oh, now i lost it so what you will see what you see here in 2026 we go from 90 billion to 108 billion that's not a crazy assumption right and you see that this is nearly all of it still based on the core business but you see that we already have a billion and actually 2 billion for Optimus and Robotaxi is then kicking in. The red is Robotaxi and FSD, by the way, the subscriptions and yellow is Optimus. And you see then what happens. Green, by the way, is the aggregate. So green is just for you to understand the final revenue number for Tesla. On the left side, this colored bar tells you how it splits between these three lines. And what you see is then in 2029 and 2030 that Robotaxi overtakes the core business and Optimus starts really scaling. And that is, of course, reflected in the share price. It is a little bit forward looking for a 10 years discounted cash flow model and reflects these coming years. And that is why the stock price itself goes up a lot, at least in this model. Now, let's before we jump to the stock price and see what the money actually does, let's go here and see how EBITDA, you know, the profit actually develops and as you can see pretty serious business 
you see it goes from 14 billion, uh, from 13 billion this year to 18 billion, to 30 billion, to 58 billion, to 112 billion. So here, much more than revenue, you see a total explosion. Why is that? Because Robotaxi and Optimus are not just giant revenue opportunities, but also giant margin boosters. Because both are based on a service model where you just pay a monthly fee or pay a per ride fee and the margins are much, much, much higher. And all of that then translates into this here. Now we are getting to the meat of it. Here is how the EPS, the earnings per share in that model develop. And here you see why the stock in my predictions is going to explode. Currently, we have an earnings per share of $2.10. You see that the earnings per share went down from the previous year, 32% breakdown in 2024 to 2023 compared then this year again, we had a decline of 15.3%. That's why Tesla stock got hit in the beginning and in 2024 didn't perform great. But then what we see just based on the facts on the ground, there will be a huge inflection of earnings, 69% growth. I project then nearly 100% growth in 2027 and then 109% growth. That's a lot of growth. That's more than any other magnificent seven stock by a lot. And then the dramatic thing is this, the, this growth continues and you see here the absolute number $2.10, uh, $2 $3.50, $6.90, 14 bucks, 29 bucks, 60 bucks, $144 earnings per share. So here we're getting into crazy territory. And of course, if we hit these milestones next year, this transaction, this will be the inflection point that Wall Street has to recognize because both RoboTaxi and Optimus are these enormous, enormous new markets and everyone knows it. So let's go here into the return simulations. Here is where we hit the meat of the matter because you are interested in the question, the mother of all questions, what does it all mean for 1000 Tesla shares? And I will first go into the model here. This is a return alpha simulation, just a basic return simulation. Here, you're basically putting in your portfolio value right now. Here's the live stock price, by the way, live connected. You see here the actual total dollar amount of your portfolio, $455,000 in Tesla shares is the equivalent of 1,000 Tesla shares, right? at 455 bucks. And now let's see what happens based on the projections of the share price, which is again, based on the numbers we saw before. So you don't have to believe that share price. You just have to believe the numbers I showed you before. And that is the meat of the discussion. Of course, if they are true, these are conservative share prices, share price targets for next year. I think 2026, I'm predicting $1,000 and 20, $1,020 roughly is the fair value of the stock. And we had 455. So that's a pretty steep increase, 123% stock appreciation. I think if we hit the numbers I described, we will be far above that number. Not because we should be, but because the market will exaggerate. Then in 2027, we reach 1720 based on the numbers based on a conservative discounted cash flow model and then in 2028 we reached the crazy number of 2748 dollars per share up from 455 so these are the prices that are the functions of these cash flow free cash flow revenue and EBITDA predictions which are a function of the sales and let's look at what happens to your money if you have 1000 shares? I want to show you this chart that shows it a little nicer. You start here with $455,000. In 2026, you would have $1,019,000 uh, $1, in your portfolio. You would in 2027 have $1.7 million in your portfolio. And then here is the number we are looking for. Let's zoom all the way in 2.75 million dollars. Wouldn't that be nice in 2028? What I show you above here is two important numbers, the ARR, you know, the average rate of return for that year. So here you're making a lot here, but you're still making 
for 2027, you're making 68%. That's a lot. And you're still making nearly 60% per year in 2028. You know, it goes a little bit down, but these are market beating returns all the way up. And here you see the CAGR, the compound annual growth rate. So basically, when you look at this year, what is the average growth rate you made from 2025 to 2029, every single year in average, 4%, 2028, still 82%. Probably understand what that means. This is your actual average compound growth rate, and that is a lot. To give you perspective, treasury bonds, 10-year treasuries right now at roughly 4%. And the typical equities market benchmark is 11 or 10%. So you're outperforming the market by 72 percentage points per year in average. That is why I'm bullish on Tesla. And as I said, this is not investment advice, right? If you invest everything you have in Tesla and then lose all your money, don't blame me. Investments are risky. Tesla is also risky. So is the market. But... Based on what we know and based on what I project, this is the number I am betting on. This is the number I construct my portfolio and strategy around. How I do that and how I generate even more returns, at least so far, with a very significant alpha over these numbers. That is what we are discussing in this channel. This is about options, trading, and some strategies I'm building around just holding Tesla. And that worked like a charm with dramatic outperformance this year. Also good outperformance last year outperformance of that core portfolio here. But in the end, of course, it relies on Tesla delivering, on Elon and the team delivering the future of robotics and autonomy. I think they will continue to deliver. But as I said, there's always significant risk in this. I hope that was helpful. Now you know the number, you know my reasoning. We are going to discuss much more here. AGI stocks, other stocks like NVIDIA, other stocks like MicroStrategy and the Bitcoin Treasury strategy. Stocks like Meta. I think one of the best opportunities that are most undervalued right now. We're going to discuss option strategies. And very soon, even still this year in December, I'm going to start covering also your general cash strategy and how you make a lot of money with these AI and AGI stocks, considering taxes of all things. Because what you will find out is that taxes are very important as an optimization factor in the equation. If you ignore taxes, there are many, many problems. I don't mean ignore in the sense of not paying taxes. I mean, if you don't consider that when you trade and put your strategy on, you have to understand the tax rules in your country and understand how to optimize it. But for now, take home that number. Now you know my projections. 1,000 Tesla shares would be $2.748 million in three years. That's why I like it. I hope that was helpful and see you very soon.